Hi, I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope Magazine here at the 2015 Northeast Astronomy Forum, everyone knows as NEAF. And right now it's my pleasure to be speaking with Kevin Lagore, the head product specialist for the U.S. market for Skywatcher USA. They have a lot of interesting equipment here, including a showpiece that's in the middle and attracting a lot of attention. We're going to start talking about that right away. Want to show me what's up here? Yeah, Dennis, this is our new Quattro series, and this happens to be the flagship of the series, the 12 inch. And the Quattro series is an F4 imaging Newtonian, so they're nice, fast, but still affordable for people to use. All right, so this is a Newtonian, a fast Newtonian configuration, F4. What about coma and image aberration for doing astrophotography? We have an answer for that. For the Quattro series, we have a dedicated coma corrector that fits right into the standard two inch focuser. It's a four element corrector, so we have four pieces of glass, one of which is an ED FPL 51 element to help correct any color. But aside from that, it doesn't add any magnification of the system. So your system remains in F4? Exactly. All right. So that works with how big a detector? It'll work with a full frame sensor. So that's great for DSLR users up to all the way to full frame, and with a fast system like that, that's excellent for DSLR. Astronomical cameras work well with this? Yeah, you can also mount those to it with your correct adapters. Excellent. So this is the 12 inch. What other ones are in this series? The 12 inch is the largest, followed by the 10 inch and the 8 inch. All F4s? All F4s. Wow. And you can use this visually as well? Yes, we give you all the correct adapters for eyepieces of any kind. So what accessories come with these? You get the tube rings and the dovetail bar? Yeah, you get tube rings, dovetail, Finder scope, it's an 8 by 50 finder scope, as well as the dual speed linear track focuser. That's a new focuser? Yes. All right, and a dual speed for obviously yeah, fine all focus. All models have the dual speed. And standard two inch yep. adapter. That's great. You've got more things to show. Oh, we have a lot more stuff. Let's take a look. So this year, we're also introducing the Maxitov line and our new AZ-EQ5 mount. The AZ-EQ5 mount is a lighter weight variant of the AZ-EQ6 that people have known about for years. It does Alt-AS and EQ. It has belt drive, dual encoders, and is lightweight. The whole mount without counterweights weighs 33 pounds. Wow, and what kind of load can you put on it? 30 pounds in EQ. 33 per side in Altaz. Wow. All right. Also has slip clutches and dual encoders, so you're able to find your way around the sky without losing your alignment. So you can loosen the clutches, freewheel the telescope around the sky where you want to go, and the computer still knows where you're pointed and you can take over slewing again. Exactly. That's a nice setup. So, what are some of the features of the Mac? The Maxitov series, as everybody knows, are very sharp, apo like views. So we've added an entire family to our lineup. This is our largest Mac Cassegrain, the seven inch. We also have a 190 millimeter Mac Newtonian, the 150 Mac Cassegrain, 127 Mac Cassegrain, 102 Mac Cassegrain, and the 90 millimeter Mac Cassegrain. All right, so like all Maxitoff Cassegrains, they're known for superb instruments for the moon, the planets, double stars, anything that requires high resolution observing. Yeah, so we finally accommodated that type of viewing into our lineup with the Maxitops. All right, both for visual observers and astrophotographers. Yeah, for those who want to do planetary lunar imaging, the Mac Cassegrains are great for that type of photography, where the Mac Newtonian is perfect for those who want to do wide field, deep sky imaging. All right, you want to show me more about this or you want to walk down and take a look at the Newtonian? Let's take a look at the Newtonian. All right, let's go. This is our Maxitoff Newtonian. It's 190 millimeter, or seven and a half inch, and it's an F5.3, so it's a thousand millimeters even, which is perfect for deep sky imagers. Deep sky imagers and observers, a wide field instrument. Yeah. Um, some unique things about this particular telescope is the dual speed Crayford focuser. But a nice thing we've incorporated for that is the low profile two inch to inch and a quarter adapter. You also get a T-ring adapter with it. 
as well as the internal draw tube of the focuser so you can accommodate all different kinds of cameras, eyepieces, etc. Got a great range of moving the focuser. Yeah, there's no fighting travel anymore. Oh, that's a pretty novel approach. Some other features about the telescope include knife edge baffles as well as a flocking behind the secondary mirror to prevent any stray light reflections while imaging or viewing. So you've got knife edge baffles going down the tube. Complete. There's five knife edge baffles throughout the entire tube. Makes for a high contrast viewing. Yeah, very dark, nice contrast. All right. What Max Tomnitonians are well known for. All right. And the finder? 8x50 correct image finder, mounting rings, and a dovetail plate. All standard. All standard. All right, so it's a right angle finder with a correct reading image. Correct. Match the view to your star charts. Yep. Very good. So what do we have here? Aside from our real popular collapsible series, we've added the GoTo series, which goes off of our collapsibles, but now adds computerization to them. And it's all the same apertures. We have 16, 14, 12, 10, and eight further down the line. So you have two variations. These are collapsible Dobsonian tube assemblies, but you can get them with and without the go-to. Exactly. All right. Want to look at some of the features in the 12 inch? Yes. So on the go-to series, we obviously have a 42,000 object go-to database. We have the slip clutches, so you have the ability to star hop without losing the alignment of the go-to as well as still have tracking. We have Eyepieces, 25 millimeter and 10 millimeter, inch and a quarter and two inch adapters, and to finish it off, an 8x50 finder scope. So as we were talking about with the earlier scope, you can get this go-to system set up, aligned, so you can drive the scope, just freewheel around the sky and star hop, do what you want, and you don't lose the alignment, you can just take over and start automatically slewing to your next object. Exactly, and it's still tracking at the exact same time. Which means when you freewheel it, it knows you're in a new position and it automatically adjusts the tracking rates so it will follow in an altazimuth mode. Correct. That's pretty impressive. An additional feature we have on all the collapsibles is the bino viewer setting. Now because our tubes are collapsible, we're able to lower them into a preset locking position so you no longer have to use correctors or bino viewer barlows to help with in focus to achieve, to achieve focus on the bino viewers. Normal problem, you put a bino viewer in a telescope, the focus doesn't come far enough out to reach the two eyepieces. So instead of putting in lenses to compensate for that and change the focal length, you can just drop the tube down a little bit, pushes the focus further out, and away you go. And that's on all, you have that setting on all of the collapsible tubes? From the eight all the way to the 16. All right, and I know you can drop them down, obviously make them compact, easier to transport. Stuff like that. Nice features. Now to round out our Dobsonians, we have our new traditional line. It comes in a 6 inch, which you see here, an 8 inch, and a 10 inch. And these are to get new people into the hobby. They're lightweight, easy to use, and cost effective so everyone can enjoy them. All right, so all the features, everything you see here, and we'll get into that in a second, is available for how much money on the 6 inch? The 6 inch is 305 305 dollars for a complete mm -hmm. telescope. Multiple eyepieces? Yep, you get a 25 and a 10 millimeter. You get the six by 30 finder and all the adapters to make those eyepieces work, as well as a two inch focuser so you can grow with your telescope as you get more into the hobby. That's remarkable, and of course, obviously the mount. It's all in one package. And yeah, very easy, very simple. And this is light enough as a whole assembled telescope to just pick it up and move it around if you need to find a new position to you from. Easily. It's perfect for the family that wants to go out in the backyard and just pop it out and have some fun for the evening. Just out of curiosity, do you know the weight of the whole scope? It's about 30 pounds. 30 pounds. And a six inch aperture, traditionally a fantastic telescope for observing everything from the moon and planets to clusters and galaxies and everything that's out there. You could spend a lifetime observing with a six inch. Exactly. It's very classic and it keeps on going. So Kevin, I want to thank you very much for Thank telling you, me all about your new products. And if viewers want to learn more about all of them, they can go to www.skywatcherusa.com. I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope Magazine here at NEF 2015.